Friday, January 25th, and I'm a creature from the vlog. Creatures from the vlog are sorry for not posting when they're supposed to post. I should have posted on Tuesday. Sorry, it just slipped my mind. Um, I did actually kind of have a busy day on Tuesday, so that's why, but I'll get to that. Uh, before I mention that though, Heather, I'm sorry for your loss, and I'm sorry for your really shitty trip. Uh, Carrie, glad to hear that your adventures went well, and um, good luck with all your college stuff. Everybody, good luck with all your college stuff. Uh, Kustani, good job watching Community. A plus, A plus for that. Um, I approve. Um, so I'm doing that thing again where I want to not be fucking boring, so I kept a list of shit that I did this week. But I'm gonna talk about more recent things and then see how much I cover. And so today I didn't really do too much at all. Um, earlier, um, before I went to bed last night, I finished Mass Effect 1. And that's just a little bit upsetting because now I've played the entire trilogy and it's not really much left for me to do with it other than me and Frankie can continue to do our weekend challenges. Which apparently we're gonna be doing in like an hour or so, so I'm pretty excited about that. I also read a comic book that I got the other day that was Mass Effect related. And the other thing I did was when my mother came home, we tried to make the chili con queso dip from Jose Teos with limited success. It is a cheese dip, but it's literally Velveeta cheese melted down with some like diced tomatoes and peppers in it. It wasn't that bad, but I didn't put it in the microwave for long enough, and then when I tried to reheat it, I reheated it for too long, so it wasn't great. But it also wasn't bad either. I think that if I like warmed it for the appropriate amount of time, it would have been pretty good. Not as good as Tejas, but good. Yesterday, I had a few errands to run around town. Um, I woke up and I got my hair cut, which I think I've mentioned before that I always hate getting my hair cut because I can never really find somebody to cut my hair that I don't find totally irritating. And yesterday was like especially bad because we got into politics because I was telling them about my internship. Yesterday I also hung out with Melissa. Uh, we went to Best Buy because my mother found a bunch of Best Buy gift cards that she wasn't didn't feel like she was going to use. And I'm infamously bad at keeping headphones for an extended period of time, so I needed to get some new ones. So I got these fancy new blue Skull Candy headphones that I'm excited about. Um, I also went to Barnes & Noble and returned the kids books that Nikki got me from Mark for Christmas so that way I could buy the Mass Effect Redemption comic. Boom. The last chore that I had yesterday involves the Park Ave Diner. My birthday's coming up and so my mom was talking about cakes because I used to really like the double chocolate ring cake from Haitia's but now it sucks and a lot of the cakes from Haitia's suck. I'm talking about what cake I should get and I said that I really liked the Oreo cake from the Park Down Diner so that maybe th my mom could like find a bakery that sells an Oreo cake and I could have that. Well, she decided that she wanted to do one better and actually order an Oreo cake from the Park Down Diner. So. She calls them up and they say, you know, oh, we'll have to put a $20 deposit by, come by the next day, and, like, we'll, like, get you set up. So, it turns out that that night I hung out with Nelson, Skeet, and Katie, and we went to the Park Ave Diner. It was, like, kind of late, and the people had no idea what I was talking about. They, like, said that there was no note left, that I should come back during the day and talk to the day manager because she was the one who did it, blah, 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 blah. So then yesterday was I came I went with Melissa during the day and I ordered the cake and so hopefully that should work out except when I gave her the $20 for the deposit she didn't give me a receipt which I didn't even think of like I, I it's so infrequent that I'm like putting a deposit on something that I didn't expect a receipt or anything like that so now my mom's worried that like they're gonna try to rip us off and just not give me the cake which would really blow um but i guess time will tell Oops. wednesday i cleaned and organized my entire room uh you can probably tell from the jellyfish fish tank back here that i've moved some of the furniture around and the fact that you can see my closet um i'm a fan of it because it makes me feel like i have a little more space 
I know I say that every time I reorganize my room, but I think Melissa even agreed with me when she was too upset that I sacrificed so much storage space over there on the fish tank because that means that a lot of books and a lot of other stuff that I would keep up here had to be moved into a box in the basement. But I think it's ultimately a better choice because of the way that everything looks and I think that's just a good spot for it in general because there can't be so much splash damage with the water because it's all, you know, contained. After that, uh, I already mentioned that I hung out with Skeet, Katie, and Nelson. That was fun. Um, I finally got my DVD back from Skeet. He borrowed the Across the Universe DVD once it first came out and I like watched it once and he's had it for five years. So he lent me two games called Fear, which is apparently like some space survival horror game, which is cool. I've been playing a lot of space games lately. I should probably play Dead Space 2 sometime since I own it now. I haven't, other than playing Mass Effect, I really haven't been hard play, core playing any of my video games I have, which is so unusual for me because you guys know, I get a video game, I fucking fly through it, but I, I've been really just kind of straying away from it lately which is a little irritating but i'm sure i'll get around to it tuesday is really the big important day i had i went into the city to go and do my training for the internship that i had so we learned about what we need to do and what the protocol is for interviewing juvenile delinquents in detention centers and other like rehab facilities and stuff like that so that's pretty exciting. We already have 10 participants, so we're going to start doing it in February. And I'm really looking forward to it because it's something for me to actually do with my time. And I'm like actually learning something and I'm actually doing something. So I'm sure it's going to be really good. It was interesting to meet the other people working on the uh, project. It was six girls, which really my life is me and a bunch of girls. So that's fine. Um, both professors that are on the project are also women, so there was a lot of Y chromosome jokes running around. Um, it, we met at one of the professor's apartments, and coincidentally that's the same apartment that the professor that I've been dealing with also lives in. And they have one of those old-timey elevators where you can't actually press the numbers yourself and there's like somebody to do it for you. Um, and that was really cool because like they had to open the door and then they have that like special grate and stuff. It was, it was really cool looking. I mean, I guess that means it's an old building, but the view was fantastic. It was really cool. Monday, I really didn't do anything. I did find out that my sister is moving back. Um, she's still having issues with her, uh, her house and she's getting to the point where she's going to accept moving back without shenanigans with the basement. So that's cool. We'll see how that goes. On Sunday, I was having a good day until, um, I don't know if you guys remember my varicoceles problem, which is that thing that when I had surgery a while back they had to fix. Well, apparently it's something that you can, like, even after you get surgery for it, can become a problem again. So I started getting pain from that on Sunday, which already dampered my mood, and then I hung out with Adam and company, and they just were playing Street Fighter the entire time and Nikki really wanted to go to a diner and, I, and Amanda had been tired of watching Street Fighter from before even I got there. And, um, I lost my belt at Adam's a while back and I asked him to look, look for it and as soon as I like sit down I find it and I ask him like did you even look for it? He says that he didn't and like that irritated me. And so then everything was just kind of getting on my nerves, so I like left early because I was in a bad mood and um, I was bored. <laughs> um, so that sucked. But other than that, I mean, obviously I've been having a good, a pretty good week other than that. Saturday, Kirstani and I hung out and we got comics. Frankie and I played Mass Effect. And then I believe we all hung out with Carrie for a little bit before and watched Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. And the day before that, I went to New Hope with Amanda and Jay. We got really delicious Italian on the way home. Tomorrow, I'm going to be hanging out with Amanda for most of the day. And I'm going to be heading with her to a family board night party. So that should be interesting. And on Sunday, I'll be hanging out with Amanda, Melissa, and Adam and everybody. So hopefully it's better than last week, but we shall see.
Love you all.